So if you live in the USA, you've probably noticed we have this crazy, like, culture of busyness. People just have to be busy all the time. And for a lot of my life, I did a good job of not falling into this trap. I found things I loved, I pursued them, I worked, I had my work set up in just a way that it didn't drain a lot of energy and time for me, paid for the bills, paid for my passions, and it was a rewarding way to live. And I was slowly moving forward, but not at a very fast pace. So it was good. Well, about a year ago, we decided to make this Kung Fu school, and it's something I've wanted to do for a while, so I thought I would explore it. I had been studying business and stuff for a couple years. Obviously, I had a lot to learn still, but I thought, let's take some action, get some real life experience, learn some things, and have the fun of getting more students in a public place instead of just teaching in parks. And it's been like a love-hate thing, because I love, I love teaching. I love that um, you can come up with a concept in your mind and turn it into something in reality. There's a lot of things I like about it, but it's amazing how much money you dump into a business in the beginning and how much time you dump into it. Like I purposely am trying to do like Tim Ferriss's Pareto's principle thing because like 20% of your effort yields 80% of the result. So I'm trying just to focus on the areas that like bring the most payback and stuff. But at this time, I have enough ignorance that I'm not even sure what those areas are. And I just don't feel like I'm learning very fast. Uh, so the last year has been pretty frustrating. And I, I finally got netted in and pulled into this silly busyness culture, not on not on purpose, I was gonna try to do this more low key, but it just feels like every waking second you're doing something and you like have all this responsibility on you and stuff and it's really weird and it's been exhausting me and because I'm a vegan and I eat such good food and stuff, it kind of carried me through for a long time, but man, I just crashed and burned like the last couple weeks and a couple nights ago, I went to the gym and I was going to do my warm up, and I wasn't even strong enough to do my warm up. It felt like a thousand pounds. And I just stopped and I walked right out of the gym, dumbfounded. I was like, holy cow, man, my body is not working right now. So, anyway, normally I get to sleep in on Sunday and I get to spend more time outside in the sun and get some vitamin D and be by the crashing waves and have all those negative ions. There's a, there's a lot of really positive stuff about what happens on Sunday. It's already Friday right now. Yoga is also a pretty healing thing on Saturday morning. So, and last night I went to bed a little bit earlier, still later than it should have been. I'm very, very introverted. And when I'm here at the business, I have to deal with a lot of people and it really drains me. Then I go home and the fact that everybody's asleep at night, it's just so relaxing and peaceful that time of night. Just, just being by yourself and recharging, that time just flies by super, super fast. And I try to be responsible and get some sleep, but you just you lose track of time because you're so happy that you're on your own you don't have to have anyone around you you're recharging you're just getting lost in your interest I've been reading a lot about solar energy and stuff and next thing you know it's super super late like three or four in the morning and then I know I have to wake up the next morning open up this school so that hasn't been working out very good and I need to approach life differently so I'm drained, I'm frustrated, I'm tired and fatigued right now. And I don't even know what the point of this video is. I kind of like leaning towards don't don't overextend yourself, don't get too busy. But I know it's hard not to do that. 
when there's things you want to accomplish, time short, you only have one lifetime. Definitely never underestimate the importance of sleep. Don't be one of those stupid people that feels it's a badge of honor to talk about how tired you are and how little sleep you are because you're so busy and so productive. It's smarter to get more sleep, take care of your health, and just have more productive hours when you're awake. Like, if you're exhausted and you work 16 hours and it's low quality like output because you're just so messed up and your mind's not working as good and your body's not working as good, or you're well rested and say you take breaks and you do other things to, you have your quiet time to meditate or you take a walk and go into nature and you read and learn and educate yourself and everything and you only put in like four hours of crazy nuts, insane productive work, that might be better. So I, I can't do that because this school is in a mall with hours and so they're, they're, the hours are long and we have to be here and open when everything else in the mall is here and open. Had we gotten some other studio someplace else where we could dictate what our hours were, we could definitely do this easier, I think. But the foot traffic here is awesome and the fact that our marketing skills are very subpar, this foot traffic has been kind of a lifesaver to us. We're still not doing well, but we'd be doing even worse if it wasn't for this location. So, yeah, just just don't forget the importance of sleep, the importance of your health. Focus on it, don't be silly, don't think you can do everything in the world because you can't. You have to make choices, you have to prioritize things, and you have to be realistic about what you can actually do. So, take these words for what they are, like, you might not agree with them, but if they at least make you think, if you can at least bounce some ideas around in your head because of this video, whether you agree with me or not, that would be a good thing.